Hi guys, so today, well, we will do a new unboxing. If you have seen uh, the others, we've done everything but one thing. And that was the plunder. It's the most fun unboxing. We weren't even sure if we were going to do it, but everybody was like, we want to see plunder. And we did put it in a box. because we, we did know it was going to be popular and it is a nice bundle of stuff. But so, we never thought it was a, compared to the other boxes, this is kind of like a little baby. Yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a small one, but it will come with wave one. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and it's the last one from wave one. We are actually now reviewing wave two so we will show you this soon if you uh, haven't seen the palette of yeah. dragons you need to head to the mythic games facebook and just see rows and oh, rows and rows yeah. of dragons it's it's heartwarming yeah and what you can see here is a little example of uh, a game uh well using wave one you're here we're in the studio we have a map set up but no we'll just do an unboxing but if anyone's you know can put two and two together <laughs> we might have some stuff in the future and it's interesting also because when we open this uh this box we will compare uh what we have with uh what you had in the core box because the the purpose of the plunder it is to give you something better a bit more luxury a bit more upgrades a bit more flexibility yeah should we exactly. have a look yes all right get it who should open you can, mm. you get you're the unboxing champion you can open okay. it you, you know what you're doing I, I know how to open yeah. a box so if you did get the plunder it will come just like this we decided that yeah. we would take the banners we would take the bases we would take the dice we would take all the elements inside and would put it all and the dice tar all inside one box so you get it delivered so like you this. get one box still of course it's not as fancy as the ones we had before but it's still a we don't expect you really to use this once you <laughs> no, build your dice tar once, yeah once you've used it you'll put it in your box yeah. uh, in your core box so uh, what do we have okay so let me get, I'll get my close camera out here. So we have our two, two bases. So these are the bases for knights and for wolves. Yeah. We have a huge bag, a simply massive bag of the triple unit bases. And the big thing, that's important to note for these, this, the most probably relevant thing is that if you got the stretch goals, of course, which everyone did, you got the core pledge, these will cover all the bases you need for all of those stretch goal minis. That should look better. We've also got... So that means you could, you could glue all of them. Yeah. If, if, you, if use, you really wanted. Yeah, yeah, if you really wanted. It's not necessarily what you want to do because uh, being able to take them uh, away means you can you can mix them with different. Uh, yeah, and uh, we're, we're going to show you what we yeah. do as well because yeah, we, we actually used a little trick. So we've also got then a little bag of extra dice. This this is fantastic. So this takes you from five to eight, which is a really useful number if you're having big battles. If you're using the mass battle system, this is great. Honestly, having eight dice is it's really very helpful. yeah, it's yeah. very nice. Uh, it's a very comfortable. You don't yeah. have to uh, put some dice again and re-roll them. You yeah, it means. If you're playing with two players in a smaller battle, you can kind of each have your own. Like yeah. four each is Absolutely, fine. If yes. you're playing a bigger battle, it means yeah, you have those eight dice for when you have kind of six or eight units going at each other. Absolutely. So it's not necessary for every single scenario you play, but it is a nice thing to have. Um, we've then got the bag of banners. Oh yes. Now these are playing at the moment, but we're <laughs> gonna have some fun with this in a second, because of course it comes with the sticker. With the sticker sheets. <laughs> I want to say, so I'll take this opportunity to say that in the plunder, what will happen is, we, I read, I got a bit excited. I'm sorry, guys. I did a little bit of unboxing on my own. The dice tower, which we'll come to in a moment, comes wrapped in film, and these will come wrapped up with your dice tower in the plunder. If you got the activation banners on their own, you'll get a little baggy with these, just, just kind of rolled up and kept separate so that they're protected as well. So don't worry, you'll get the stickers with the banners or inside the dice tower, depending on whether you did plunder or on their own. Um, then we have the dice tower. I'll switch to this camera for the dice tower because it's obviously massive, so you can show it. I'll take this sheet away. This is just a protective, uh, a protective so white. So yes, layer. this is uh, the dice Oops, tower. Sorry, my it bad comes. Though. It comes with two. Uh, it comes with, yeah, yeah, yeah two sheets. Two sheets, uh, and it allows you to instead of rolling on the table to roll on a beautiful. Uh, medieval tower now i don't want to give anything away that well i mean to be honest i've already given it away haven't i but we're going to be rolling some dice in the not too distant future so i would very much like <laughs> yeah. to see you build okay. this tower you know we haven't <laughs> prepared anything we're going to try and build it well somewhere done in france by the other guys i've never done it myself i've never, has done, never it. done it and we're gonna try and do that uh Oh, you. together? Yes, we're together. Gonna, so, yeah, if anyone was paying a really keen, uh, we're going to pop out. Oh, I love the little, um, what do you got, parapets? So these little, uh, the little, I mean, they're not windows, are they? 
Um, someone in the comments will keep me right on the terminology, but the fact that these little details on the side are just gorgeous. If you're paying attention on social media, you will have seen some sneaky pictures on Leo's Facebook and on the Mythic Games Facebook where we were testing the battle mode, and there was a dice tower in the back of that shot, and that's the only one that's been yeah, uh, built and tested to make yeah. sure it all worked and looked well. Um, this is the first one in the UK office, and I hope, I hope by building it now, I get lucky oh, yeah. when I roll against you. Let's make sure everything's... So, how does this work? Um, probably something <laughs> like this, right? I would right. say. Seems oh, we're just we're just going to do this without even, yeah. Yeah. So that's, yeah, cool. And then this will be on the other side. Yeah. This is this is like hobby arts and crafts. Let's see if I can see it. <laughs> you can see what you can see what we're up to here. Okay. Um, I've got the back here. Oh, you've got the no. That's the front. Sorry. And I've got these are our, these so are obviously I'd our. So I say this would go logically yeah. here, mm -hmm. right? And then I'll have one. I'll have one for the back as well. Oh yeah, this is. I was actually going to be worried that we were going to completely mess this up, but this is easy peasy. So yeah. in, in like that. Yep. Yeah. Oh. oh, I love the logo in the front, right? <laughs> okay, I've got one for the back too. Oh, hold on. Let, no, let's put in the. Let's put in the uh, yeah. bo the bouncy bits. What are the bouncy bits called? There must be a technical term for it. These will be the dice rolly numerator. Oh yeah, because you oh, roll the dice. We and need then to put one in. The, hold on, yeah. we need to put one in the front. <laughs> there you go. Put it in the front first. Yes. <laughs> so put all your dicey rolly numerator bits in first. <laughs> Down a bit. There we go. Yeah, yeah. And then we'll put this on. Very very simple, honestly. Yeah, two Look two it, old it. men who don't get anywhere near enough sleep <laughs> and drink far too much coffee can easily do yes. this. There you go. Now you know what's going to happen now, right? Is we're going to have to test roll this in a second, Leo. Yes. And it's going to be a really big roll. Like this, this is going to be the first, the first roll of this dice tower. Yeah. There we go. Are we in? Yeah. Oh, oh. I think. Wait. Yeah. That's it. First. No. Nope. Um. We're looking good. Oh. I don't there think I messed up something. No. Nope. We haven't. It just needed that little extra push just to sit yeah, right. Down. It nah. just it just needs a little bit of a, a little bit of brute force. So whenever you're pushing pushing the top down, you just want to give it a real a good squeeze, keep it all nice and tight, but and not push that down. Looks great. There you go. So you can see yes. down in. You want to give it a roll? Yeah. Looks uh, great. What do you want to What do you want to roll? Let's see how many kills you can get on six, okay. six red dice. How many? Six red dice. Let's see. <laughs> so I just roll. Oh, that's epic. Two kills. Two kills. You've doomed it. That's it. One out of combat. <laughs> two shields One push and, a push. and two shields. <laughs> okay. Very good. Oh, very good. There you go. I love it's this. We'll be using this. Yes, um, we will. For some reason uh, in future videos. So I'm going to pop that right to the side. Oh, that's very pretty. It's nice and sturdy, that too, actually. Yeah, it's sturdy. It's, it's really good. So, talking about dice, I mean, everybody knows what these are. Um, if you don't already know, there are a few differences to the dice. I think everybody who's been following along uh, will get to see these. I just dropped a yellow one, but anyway. So we have four different types of dice. You have your red, your white, your black, and your yellow. Now, there's some key differences. Different units, of course, will roll different types of dice. Each of the dice has different faces on it. Some don't have any. So for example, the white dice are sort of our basic peasant militia, lightly equipped units. Doesn't have the potential to kill at all. They have a blank, but they also have two shields two disrupts and one push. So these are generally just good all round solid dice, but you're never and killing. And you know some units uh, can use the blank rolls. Yes. The blank sides. Blanks are sometimes very useful, uh, depending on what way you like to build your army if you're mass battling or what way you're... <laughs> what do you hear? Let, let me have a look at it. Let's, sh let's show it off. So this is what Lido is alluding to. This is the unicorn. Hopefully you guys can see that. Some focus. So it says, when attacking or defending, you can turn one blank white dice into the result of your choice. <laughs> Meaning if you're bad at rolling dice, you still got a good way of, of keeping yourself right. The yellow dice, again, this is something a lot of you may know, but if you don't, it comes with disrupts. Two blanks, one shield, and primarily two pushes. And pushes can be a huge tactical oh, yeah. advantage. Yeah. Splitting up your enemy's forces, making them use more orders, making the, them use the, the yellow dice are used by the bowmen. Pains in the oh, behind yeah. is what we'll say the bowmen are. We've then got the black dice. These are really your defender's favorite. The reason is they have a 50-50 chance of rolling a shield, which is going to nullify attacks. They also have disrupt. And one kill. Disrupt and a kill. These are really the solid dice, aren't they? They're the, they're the backbone of a lot of the big units like the knights, like the foot knights. Yeah. Angels roll two of these in defense. 
Boo. <laughs> and then we have the probably the most vicious dice in the game by, by a long way, which is our red dice. They come with only a single shield, two kills, two disrupts, and a push. So one third chance of actually getting a kill and one third chance of a disrupt. These guys are... So you have a shield. So when you have guys who uses who use red dice to defense, yep. and if they have retaliate... retaliate You've got an example there, actually. Yes. Well, this is an interesting one because these guys use black dice on defense. So the great thing about retaliation units, if they have the retaliation keyword, is your defensive dice will do its... Uh, whatever you roll will do it back to the enemy. So not only is a black dice good here for defense, but if you happen to roll that <coughs> kill or that disrupt, whoops, there we go, you actually do that back to your opponent, which is which is just great. So that's extra dice. That's the dice tower. We'll chat about the bases for a second. Yes, so, good, good idea. So a couple of things about the bases. First of all, the, the key thing is that if you bought any of the expansions or the add-ons in the game, they all come with their own bases. So if you bought the Siege, if you bought the Apocalypse, if you bought the Devil, uh, Unleash, you, Unleash the Devil, you've got all of that with the bases. But we have in so the core many box, uh, you have yeah. enough to play, yep. a little bit more than what's about, but mm -hmm. not uh, for everything. Yeah, because there were so many stretch goals, literally so many stretch goals. That's what these really are for. If you wish to glue everything in, if you wish to set it all in with every unit in its base, so... That doesn't mean you can't play with Absolutely. what you have in the core box. It simply means that after you've played, you need to take them away, yep. right? And then put them back yep. uh, it, with what you, what you need. Yep. Right. So even if you don't have the, the, the plunder or if you, you choose to, what you can do, what we do. Now what we do, because we, we do a lot of play testing, obviously we do a lot of changing, you can, the bases are easily removable. I'll try and get my white hand out of shot here, but you can basically pop the units in and out of the bases, no problem at all. Yeah, yeah. So they are interchangeable as much as you like. And like we do, we put a little bit of what in France they call patafix or we would call blue tack or white tack here in the UK. Now we, we do this to make it very, very easy to just chop and change units, to change the bases if we want to, and just to hold them in place. But by all means, if you got the plunder box, you will now have enough bases for every unit in the game, for every for all the core box, all the stretch goals, plus any expansions you got, you'll have the bases for it. So if you want to glue them into here, you can, absolutely can. That's just gonna be up to you. Yeah. But we, we like to use the pad fix, and then also we just interchange it with the bases yeah. as and when we need to, because we, we chop and change our armies a lot. Yeah. yeah, we use the black and white bases a lot as well. The good thing with using patafix or blue tack or white tack or whatever is that you can hold them like this. Otherwise, if you hold them, they will. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so they will hold. They will hold to an extent, but generally speaking, they're not yeah. going to. They're not going to so hold. So it's very convenient. It takes a little time and very little money because with just a little bit yeah. like this, need. we did all that. Yeah. You know, so it's uh, yeah, it's a it's a trick that you should really do uh, for. Well, you don't have to do that for single minis, of yeah, course, yeah. So obviously, not, like uh, the werewolf or uh, the angels. Yeah, these guys don't suffer from that at all. They'll just pop straight in out of the bases. They come as a single piece. Or even these ones, uh, because you also have like bases for these ones. We don't. We didn't bring them here. No, we don't but, have them in yeah, the hand. But yes, but they. Yeah, your single heroes again because they slot straight into a base ring are absolutely fine. Um, the last thing then mm. is the banners. Now, yeah. there's a bit. Well, Leo and I are going to have a bit of a challenge here because, as you'll see, <laughs> um, after the uh, well, uh, the first, the first thing w went well. You know yeah. the. Uh, well, because that, that was a cooperative <laughs> game, right? <laughs> this is this is not going to be competitive. Because here we have the the blank banners. You'll see, obviously, the blank, and these are to replace. If you want to grab Leo, the base activation orders that come in the game. So you have your. And grab them all in. You have your, your basic order, which is your, your gray cube. You have your interrupt, you have charge, and then you also have your reactivation. So you can activate the same hex or same area, sorry, again. <laughs> Look at the size of the cube yeah. compared to the mini. So you can see, uh, because these are normal sized yep, cubes, this right? Is it. These are the ones that actually so come in the core So you can see that box. the minis, although very detailed, are very small indeed. Yeah, bring the werewolf. There you go, so you get an idea of what the comparison is at home. So these will all come like this, and then what we do is we give you a selection of stickers, and these will fit perfectly onto the banners. Now, this is where Sauce's finger as, uh, Leo challenged me before we came on camera. I can see, don't, okay. don't tell me which one you're gonna make. I'm gonna make one and you can make one. And then we're gonna have you guys at home say which one is the best, right? <laughs> we shouldn't choose the same color, I'm gonna choose. No, I'm gonna really, I'm gonna really try here. I'm gonna really try. <laughs> if you are uh, like me, uh, inflicted by sausage fingers, 
we recommend you ask a grown up or <laughs> or a artsy craftsy person <laughs> to help you out. Sausage fingers. Right? <laughs> it's it's not a joke, Leo. This is this is something you, you shouldn't laugh. It's a real affliction. <laughs> well I'm not sure I did mine perfectly. So these take a little bit of dexterity, a little bit of time just to get right. I'm well, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, so I'm going to put them under, hold on. So Leo did one and I did one. I'm going to have everyone at home tell us which color was the best. All right, you tell us which ones were the nicest. So here we go. Oh, I don't know. I'd have to zoom in a lot. I think, I think we've both done an okay job, yeah. actually. Yeah. I don't yeah. think that's too bad. So we've, we've put them on both sides, which we think is a really nice thing to do because it makes it nice and clear. Oh, I think you've gone wonky. <gasps> yes. That's um, totally wonky. Yeah, this one was... Oh, I've cheated now. I've said that's yours. Because mine was not wonky. Mine was pretty straight. And then... <laughs> yeah, yeah, one of them I missed. Even, even I, with I sausage fingers? Fast. But, yeah. Yes. So, what the point is to replace them with... Uh, yeah. Yeah. With, with this. So, instead of using... Of having a yellow cube, you would have these banners. Yeah. So, we could show how it looks, maybe? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Well, unfortunately, we don't have a, a close camera. Actually, I can look at this one. Here we go. Yeah. So you can see, so there would have a green activation, there would be a yellow one versus having the cubes on. Yeah. So, it, yeah, it gives it beside the units, it just has a really nice feel. They sit really nicely behind. Yeah, because it looks like a flag and yep. it's in, in the battle. So, yeah. yeah it's, um, they're, they're also, this. if you're sausage fingers like me, they're a little easier to pick up when they're like this. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a little yeah, easier to yeah. get in and actually jump them out because a lot of times you'll be picking up five, six, even seven activations yeah. at any point orders off the board. So, it makes it a little bit easier for that. Yeah. Well, that's everything you get in the plunder box, basically. Um, that's that's it, if you were lucky enough to grab one of these. So thank you guys for coming along and watching this unboxing. I'm not going to lie, I want to play some Joan of Arc. Me too. Okay, so look, we'll speak to you guys really soon. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. Keep an eye on our YouTube channel, Mythic Games YouTube, because we're going to have some content coming out there, not just for Joan of Arc, but for other games as well in the coming months. So thanks for watching.